It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants, and it comes your way next. It can hold over 82,000 fans, and every one of those seats is filled for this one. As our coverage of the NFL brings us to MetLife Stadium. And there, everybody, thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Keith Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Jordan. We've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football, not just throwing the rock but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place, they always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Ball teed up, Austin Seibert after the kick. And we're off for MetLife. Starting from the five. And look at this return. And he brought this one almost to midfield before he's tackled. So now counting the Giants, their first drive of the game coming up. Leading them out in his sixth NFL season since being picked sixth overall, Daniel Jones. Well, the first year of Daniel Jones' new big contract didn't go the way anyone wanted to in New York. The team struggled to a 1-5 and five start, and an ACL ultimately ended Daniel's season. Remember, before he got that contract, it was his legs, it was his athleticism, it was his movement play that really led the Giants forward. Can he get back to that off that knee injury? We'll all be watching this season. Now start the drive with Singletary. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Double the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. On the shotgun, it's Jones. One snap in, and this offense as efficient as they could be, partner, and looking very dangerous to begin this ball game too. Yeah, you know, it's one thing for coaches to tell us in our production meetings they want to be a quick strike offense, got to be explosive. But they put that talk into action. One play from scrimmage, one touchdown, and one massive statement sent across the field. Here's Greg Joseph for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Giants will jump out to a 7-0 lead. The Giants ready to kick this one away, and off we go once more. This return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So now the Commanders will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. The biggest mistake he can make here is letting his offense get suckered into trying and matching the pace while the opposition just set. Even if it's a quick score to begin the game, he's got to have the poise and the patience here to run the opening script they plan for all week long. Play your game, and not let the circumstances dictate and force your hand early. Daniel's going to throw to get us started. Got a man, McCaffrey has it. 
And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Daniels from the pistol. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. He gets six on that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. New set of downs for him at the 38. First carry now for Austin Eckler. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring with guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Now Daniels off the play action. That's complete. Here's Austin Eckler. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both total ball as a runner, and really importantly as a check-down outlet on short throws. Here's second and seven. This ball is cut by McCaffrey. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And the Commanders will have a first. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. In that slant, it goes for big yardage. Going option, headed left on this first down. Across the 20, continuing to work. And he's finally taken down at the 16-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. When they draw up these plays for the quarterback, these are the type of results they're expecting, Kate. Something that could tear a hole in the defense, move the chains, and just as importantly, and maybe most importantly, put a seed of doubt and thought in that defensive mind that the QB can run at any time. First and 10 are under Robinson. And they're going to bring him down after he drives it down to the seven. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet. But let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. On the gun, it's Daniels. The Commanders finish off their opening drive. Terry McLaurin with the touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Austin Seibert on to try the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the commanders start off well to tie things 7 7. Turn coming from the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Now for the second time this game, we get a look at the New York offense. Well, Brock, it only took him one play to reach the end zone last drive. They might have to work a little bit harder this time out.
They're out and set. First and ten. They'll run it with Devin Singletary. Doesn't get much beyond the line. A yard at most. All down by Dorrance Armstrong. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Motioning him from the slot right. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. Couldn't connect right side, it's incomplete. First time this game they've looked to him. So now it's going to be third and long. Looking from the gun, here's Jones. And they can't connect on the third down deep shot. Love the courage they had to try it, but it's incomplete, and now we've got fourth down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. The Giants ready to punt, and they're going to send out the lefty, Jamie Gillen, for the kick. Signals for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 27. No return on that punt. And the Commanders will go on offense. Here comes the Washington offense after the field, ready for their second drive. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Drive starts out with a first and ten. And in motion out of the slot. begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Brought to a halt by Deontay Banks. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Out of the gun, Daniels. You know, can't we talk about these wide receivers all the time and their incredible body control? But I'll say this, these pass rushers in this day and age, the body control they have to get home on these sacks, but more importantly, to create these strip sacks, is so hard to do. And that is a master's class in how to take the ball away. Well done. New York taking over once again. The offense heading out. They're still in search of that first first down of this game, Brock. Hoping to put together a drive and avoid calling on the puncher again. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing now, following the turnover. He's on the move. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Pretty even match in this first half, and you're just kind of waiting. Right? You just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack, that could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Short side option here. He's running left. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Give him a round three, but a very big distance to address here on third down. I can promise you, that's not what it looked like on the practice field, nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. He's holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board.
Greg Joseph on for the field goal. This will be a 44-yard look. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. The Giants ready to kick this one away, and off we go once more. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now comes the commander offense for another series. And their defense held up after that fumble. Only gave up three. So time for this offense to make it up to them. Get some points of their own. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. And the double coverage. Oh, don't want to do that. And he's there for the interception. Picked off by Andrew Phillips. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They cleaned up the fumbling issues from the last drive. And now... It's an interception that turns the ball over. Yeah, and two very different tones and tenors on these two sidelines. One coach is pleading, begging for some ball security. The other is simply saying, keep it up, boys. Keep taking that ball away. Job well done. So here come the Giants, ready to take over again on offense. And they're set up well inside of enemy territory. And they've got a short field after that pick. First down, ball at the 36. They'll go right side with Singletary. They'll work it a couple of yards past the line. Brought down by the future Hall of Famer, Bobby Wagner. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. from the 34. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game, and things look tougher now with third and long. You know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad, my fault. Quarterback delivers him a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. Jones now on third down. This one's incomplete. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bad. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. And he missed it. It's no good. And they are unable to double their lead. He was hitting from that distance pregame. Heck, we were on the field watching it, and they were confident he could do so again. Just did not work out this time around. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. And this drive, Brock, hopefully longer than that last one. They were only out there one play before they were picked off. And kind of a good chance right now to see how risk-averse these guys are offensively. A lot of game left. They could give the passing game a little breather and start this one on the ground. Commanders start down in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Drive start to the quick throw left complete. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, Oftentimes, it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. They'll 
will put one of the tight ends in motion. On second down, Robinson is able to drive that pile about a yard. Bobby Okereke making that stop. Call it no gain, maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. Gives her Robinson. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense, it just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, it sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. Commanders punching on fourth down, and they're gonna bring out the ever-reliable lefty vets, Tressway. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. And no chance at a return as this one heads across the sideline at the 25-yard line. Now here comes the New York offense. They could only set up a lengthy field goal attempt, their last possession, Bronx. So some room to improve in how far they can advance the football here. We'll start out with a first and ten. Pistol now for Jones. Buys time, rolling right. Now here he goes. How about 29 yards on first down? And a fresh set of downs on its way. I mean, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass. And then what happens when well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. Chased out to his right. He calls his own number again. He wisely avoids contact, sliding down there. That played good enough for a first. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. While well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. Top by Theo Johnson. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Giants will have a first down. As quarterback, when you have an out-route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. And Singletary off the option. And they're going to bring him down after he drives it down to the seven. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense... I think it feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Now Jones escapes the pocket. And he carries it in for the touchdown. The Giants stretch their early lead to nine. Daniel Jones with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. You gotta be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. And the kick is good. And we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on the roughing call. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff is going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft in and try to stick him deep.
Joseph now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one flies right on past the end zone. Didn't make an effort to hit the landing area at all. So they're going to give them a drive starting at the 30. The Commanders all set to regain possession. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First and 10 now from the 30. Play fake here, Daniels. On the move, headed right. He's running with it. Oh man, those defensive players hate slippery quarterbacks. Near impossible to keep them hedged in or corralling behind the line there. He evades them long enough to turn a potential loss into positive yardage. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. It's a two-score game early. We'll get back to East Rutherford after this. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They've got second and five. Daniels now. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. He's going left on the option. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, is really quick decision-making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. Now head up, first and ten from the 42. Daniels. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first, guarantee some yards, and then worry about escaping the defenders and getting up field. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing now off play action. Cut by the open man. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play, as well as a new set of downs. He just made a difficult throw to the outside look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. First and 10 now. Here's Daniels. We'll get it complete to Brian Robinson Jr. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Taps it quick to the receiver coming across. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. We well, call that play to surprise the defense, try to get to the goal line. But a quick adjustment by the defense will have kept him in position to make the stop and ruin that play. Driven backward to the 11 as they line up for second and goal. Now it's a bootleg for him. You've got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you've got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. They've held out twice. Here we go. Third goal. Again, Daniels to the air. This throw is caught. He almost gets to the five. He goes out at the six.
drive for the field goal. High percentage look for him here from the left half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Giants offense all set to get started. Their last drive contained a heavy dose of the ground game, a little old-school dominance on the way to a touchdown, Brock. Let's see if they stick with it or if they go aerial this time around. They're out and set. First and ten. And off running left. Here's Singletary. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. Frankie Luvu there for the tackle. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Singletary again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. Pressure comes, Jones. Hoffman isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. And it just keeps coming, Kate. It just keeps coming. This defense relentless in this first half. Third time. Now this quarterback's got to pick himself off the turf. When they get in that locker room at halftime, it's going to be a quick one. I think the whole message is going to be, how do we protect our quarterback? Because if you can't do that, this offense can't get started. Jamie Gillen on now to punt. And that fair catch brought in just beyond the 30-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they'll get ready to go on offense. So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. So the penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. Throwing from the gun here. That's complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you gotta assume the ball's going his way. Second and three now. Now 
Now Daniels to throw. And no look there, that throw falls to the ground. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Back to throw, here's Daniels. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 33-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Take it a short gain and turn it into an explosive play. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Slot receiver headed left. Daniels on first down. Pause it at the seven. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the gun, it's Daniels. Oh, that's a tough one. Couldn't bring in the touchdown clean. It falls incomplete. It's going to be second down. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is. If he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. A flag's down as he stops. It looks like this one's on the offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Daniels back to throw. He's on the move. And that's a situation may have worked out better if he'd thrown the ball. His running ability gets him a chunk of yards, but still some work to do to get that first down. So now, here's third and goal. Here's Daniels. Tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. Well, this right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we've got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? No change to the call on the field, so that play is going to remain a touchdown. Seibert now to add the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Commanders make it 17 all.
It's all lined up. Cyber now ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. Coverage team tracks him down as the return reaches the 35. The Giants about to get to work on offense. And in a high-scoring game to this point, everyone anticipating, well, even more points as they take the field. Good starting field position for the Giants as they head up first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Jones. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. So it'll be second down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Working from the gun, here's Jones. Quick slant, caught by neighbors. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down throw by Jones. Gets this to Johnson. And this one doesn't go far. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Again, Jones to the air. Couldn't bring it in over the middle. Incomplete. Lucky that didn't end as an interception. So they're left facing third and long. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Jones now on third down. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Looking for Malik Neighbors that time. So that brings up fourth and long. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? If it shows the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. The Commanders and Terry McLaurin ready for another look on offense. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Daniels from the pistol. That's complete McLaurin along the sideline. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. It's enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. From the gun, it's Robinson. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Bobby O'Karrake making that stop. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Got a man. McCaffrey has it. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Oh, man, these are the kind of plays you can't wait to get on film and watch the next day. Look at the fellow pass catchers. Look at the guys getting out in front, helping on that screen pass. Get your player in space. Your buddies do the rest around you, and a big play follows. Going right side, Robinson with it. 
And they had that one contained right at the line. Drew Phillips making the tackle. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Not every corner in this league can make the play he just made right there. Sure, there's pure coverage guys. Not really known for their tackling, but this guy, well, he's someone who isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and make a stop. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. And that's a pretty modest pickup for a QB keeper. On a traditional handoff, you'll take that yardage, but those QB keepers, so many times, they're really designed, Kate, for chunk plays in my double digits, and they nearly got it there. Third and short, Daniels. It's taken in by Epler. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. It's the Commanders with a first and ten. Out of the gun, Daniels. He gets this one to McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish, because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Seibert now to add the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Commanders break that tie and now lead by seven. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tapping at the 29. This offense getting all set for this series. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Jones. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate. They doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's doing your homework. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction with how well the defense had that one covered. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. And this one too far in front of him, it's incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And that's gonna leave him with a tough third and long. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Third down run from Singletary. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So they'll let the play stand, decline the penalty, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, 
Here's Jamie Gillen on again for the punt. Zacchaeus back deep for this return. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Able to find Ertz. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 36. He'll get this one to Brown. And he touch him down as he finds enough to pick up the first. Throwing now, Daniels. It's caught Eckler. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out, and this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Again, Daniels to the air. Finds a seam down the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. The Commanders take a timeout. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. Setting up the screen. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner. Toting the ball. But he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 23. On target to his man Zacchaeus. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Washington calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. themselves another first and ten from the gun it's Daniels this is hauled in by McLaurin and he's able to get this down to the 13 final timeout taken by the commanders and that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Daniels. And like an empty wrapper, he just throws that one away. You know, 
Okay, that was one of those situations where you hear a quarterback having a clock, right? You know, and he ended up time in the pocket, but then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. He did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it and cut his losses. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Well, Brock Barton, a touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. Fielded just shy of the end zone. He's hauled down on what is the final play of our first half. Now that brings us to the midway point of this one. The Commanders enjoying a nice little lead here on the road. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida, in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports Studios. This is the Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. The first half controlled by the offenses, Brock. Let's see if the defenses can take over in the second half. We're underway. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Commanders ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Daniels. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Daniels back to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. And the defense was ready. They got him at the line. No game there, and that'll bring up fourth and a few. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. The commander is ready for the punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. This offense making its way back out now. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them, really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers 
And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun, a carry by Singletary. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL, and so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. Here's first and ten from the 34. On the counter, Singletary. And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. Draw play. This is Singletary. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Benjamin St. Juiced getting up to end that play. A solid gain of six there. It's going to be third and just a yard. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. And they'll make a stop over the 46-yard line. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. He's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First down, and they go right back to him. And he takes it up and across midfield to Commander's territory. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. He finds Slayton. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. A good RPO play, it takes a lot of timing. Proper decision making from a calm, cool, collected offense. Well, that one didn't have any of it. Here they come. This is third and five. Oh, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Now, the call helps, but still a third down to figure out now. They'll run here, following the penalty. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. First and ten from the 41. Stick with Singletary. He'll knife his way through for a pick of a four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slareth, two-time Super Bowl winner, says, if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. A second down run by Singletary. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Benjamin St. Juiced getting up to end that play. They made it to single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. They kick the running back in motion. Third down, Jones to throw. Complete beyond the and he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Now 
and inside give to Singletary. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. Second down now, seven to go. Gives to Singletary from the gun. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves them with third down and five. Working from the gun, here's Jones. He brings it in. space and then the wideout takes advantage nice finish there to take it in for six yeah no question about it we know points are always a premium in this league and this really becomes a three to four point play right when you don't have to settle for field goals you could throw an underneath and your receivers do that much damage in the open field and score a touchdown that's big time joseph now for the extra point the point after splits the uprights and the Giants cut it to a field goal game. Raleigh set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Has this at the six. And look at this return. They'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. The visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. this Brock sometimes you just gotta ask your dude show me what you got man show off those wheels and he did just that yeah beauty and simplicity right yeah when you run that fly route <laughs> you gotta win right from the jump uh -huh. and you gotta protect yourself from the sideline too don't get pushed to the boundary give your quarterback room to throw it up and you can find Pater. Seibert now to add the extra point Right down the middle, it's good. And the Commanders make it a 10-point ball game. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. He fields it from the eight. He stopped on the return of the 27. The Giants and Darius Slayton with the football once again. And the touchdown's got to keep coming for them as they still trail here.
Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Jones. Connects with Slayton. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They give up the guts of Singletary. He's contained at the line for no gain. Ricky Luvu there for the tackle. Nothing for them on second down, and now it's third and one. Does that linebacker make that tackle right in the middle of the field? All I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. And they'll run it with Singletary. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. That play good for 17 on a first down. It's pretty obvious this defense. Man, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, you start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Now it's Singletary. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. They'll motion Slayton left. Here's Singletary. And they swallowed up in the middle. No gain on the run. Frankie Luvu there for the tackle. No gain on the play, and it brings up third and seven. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Jones now on third down. Gets this to Slayton. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Jones throwing on four. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. Yeah, I don't care that they didn't get it. Still the right call in that situation. It's a little too long for a field goal, and a punt really nets you very few yards. The decision-making was sound. It was the execution that let them down. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. To throw, Daniels. Has a man, it's Ertz. And it's always ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Bobby Okereke making that stop. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Daniels from the pistol. He's got Brown on the slant. And that will not be enough for a first down. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Third and just two to go. Quickly looking left, and it's complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. He manages a gain of eight there. And the Commanders will have a first. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. It's the Commanders' ball. A chance at a win if they can hang on to their lead through the fourth.
Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Play fake here, Daniels. Fits it through the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 28 out of that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Again, Daniels to the air. Escapes the pocket. He takes it himself. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. Five men in the secondary for the G-men now, ahead of third down. Shotgun snap to Daniels. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact. It gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. For the third time today, we see them setting up for a field goal. This is going to be a 32-yarder from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that pushes the lead up to 13. Those three points could go a long way to securing this W. Makes a lot more comfortable knowing the other side's got to score a couple touchdowns now. A touchdown to field goal's not going to get it done anymore. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Fielded at the 7. Find some space. He's past the 30. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. The Giants and Devin Singletary back out on offense. Ball at the 33 for first down. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. to throw. Here's Jones. That pass is caught by Wanda Robinson. And it's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He can take it to the house. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Jones looking to throw. He's on the move. He can run it. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. When the play breaks down, every once in a while, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Motioning the tight end now. Has him on the 
quick hitter. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Blitz coming for Jones. That one's incomplete over the middle. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They go play fake with Jones. And it looks great flying through the air run, but problems on the business end as it falls to the ground. Third down coming up. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Again, Jones to the air. Don't try forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Sarah still makes the play. And just like that, a really good drive is taken away with an INT. Sure was a lot of promise on that series, right? That's a small silver lining for them at the very least, but probably won't be much comfort now. And it's going to feel even worse when this quarterback watches the tape tomorrow. The commanders set to take over. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Robinson up the middle. He breaks the tackle. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. the 23. He's going to push one deep down the... He's got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Washington. The Commanders making a three-score game in the fourth. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. The commanders leaving their offense on the field. We've got a two-point try coming up. He's throwing for it. Flushed out of the pocket. And he's into the end zone. That play adds a couple more to their lead. Sometimes you just got to call your own number. You know, as soon as he makes that choice, there was no one, and I mean no one, who was going to keep him from making it in. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. His return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Giants and Daniel Jones making their return to the field now.
Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? Just how many times do we see teams go to this route? You can go to a Little League field and tell them to, hey, run to the post. It's a playbook staple. And he's someone you could depend on to create space and make catches out of it. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. On first down, it's Jones to throw. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time Take some precision and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. From the 37. That's who's running back, Devin Singletary. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. That play goes for eight yards and it keeps this drive moving. Well, that was great timing. Great timing by the big fellas to get out in front of that screen. You could see it coming. Running back has the lineman in front of him to clear a little space. It was all about his athleticism after that. On first down, this is Singletary. And they make the tackle at the 28-yard line. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Here's Singletary again. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Give him four on that run. That's going to bring up third and five. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Escapes out to the left. He's running for it. He's finally caught. And he's lost the football. And he's to it down. And the commanders pick this one up. And the nightmare continues as they bring the fumble back for a touchdown. The commanders put up even more points in a win. He took off with it, which they give him full license to do when he sees an opening, Brock. But he couldn't keep it secure, and it winds up in a defensive touchdown. Kid, I played for coaches that when you scramble, they force you to have two hands on the ball because they know this. They know these defenders love for these moments. They attack the looseness of that ball security. Quarterbacks, unlike running backs, don't always know how to tuck that ball away. And this defense, well, they took advantage. Seibert now to add the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Commanders continue piling on to this lead. Still reeling a little after fumbling that away, but they're going to get it right back with this kickoff. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Now outruns their offense to take over. And the last two drives have been teaching tape for that defense, Brock, and probably have earned this offense a lecture in the near future as well. Just haven't been able to take care of that football. Yeah, I just kind of want to focus on those guys, <laughs> everything they're doing on that side, because the humble pie this offense has eaten, it's been a tough watch. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Oh 
From the shotgun, it's Jones. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So it's second down coming up. Working from the gun, here's Jones. Escapes the pocket. He tucks it and takes off. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Third and six for them to figure out now. Pressure comes, Jones. This fine single Terry. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Try it now with Singletary. And he's able to get back to the line, but that is all. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on downs. Hey, I am all for aggression. You get four downs, go for it. But I do have to wonder here, Kate, after being denied once again, is there going to be a trust level on that sidelines to go for it the next time they get this shot? The Washington offense getting set for its next possession. And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league, but sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. Ball at the 33 for first down. Robinson on the inside give. And he'll only find one yard up the gut. Second down. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, now it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Another carry for Robinson. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only a yard from that time, so now third and nine. Out of the gun, Daniels. Getting out to his left. He'll make a big for it on the ground. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from New York. Commanders started celebrating this win a while ago. Looks like they will indeed try it. Fourth and two. He's going to run for it. It's an option. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. And that run won't come close. That's a turnover on downs. Kate, that is all about the eyes of the defense. Keyed in on the quarterback. Whether it was going to be a run or a throw, that defense was so locked in. They hold him short of the sticks. New York taking over once again. The offense heading out. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. They're out and set. First and ten. 
Now Jones. Able to get it to Singletary. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Let's call the quarterback's best friend, Kate. Games like that on the screen aren't possible without everyone doing their job. One missed assignment is the difference between a big game and being dropped for a loss. Second and three now. From the 36. And he let his man just a little too much there. That's an incomplete pass. Not on the same page with his tight end. And now they'll face a third and three. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, they're not open very long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. Third down, Jones to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. He picks up 15 on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Every time I see one of those angle routes, I think back to my day one install. Rookie minicamp in the NFL. Texas, angle route. 49ers of the 80s, they were making hay with it then. And the running back still doing it to this day. That's into the hands of Singletary. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Second and six now. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Throwing here, Jones. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done, incomplete. You know, I don't fault that look at all, Kate, downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good. On good. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on fourth. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Connects with Slayton. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best. And you get to see how you handle the most pressure. And it turns out well, they handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down throw by Jones. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Well, the pressure, boy, that sped that whole play up, didn't it? And it opened up a wide range of outcomes. A hurried throw almost ended up an interception. And that wasn't until after they almost brought him down behind the line for a sack. Second and ten now, Jones. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. So it's a win on the road for the Commanders. And partner, I know you took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more contempt, <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter.